Uh, first, uh, I would like to uh, thank you, Professor Bay, for organizing this conference and uh, inviting me. Yeah, I've been visited uh, uh, Korea first time in late 90s, and uh, it's always been a pleasure for me to visit Korea again, to witness the vibrant mathematical activities in recent years here in Korea. So, <coughs> it's really a pleasing <coughs> environment for mathematics now. Okay, so today I'm going to speak on automorphic forms of dream field types, and uh, it's really to, it's a functioning field arithmetic, and uh, this first this is joint work with uh, my private student Fu Chun Wei, and uh, so this is a notation which uh, <coughs> in conformity with previous use previous ones, but I will have to use more local global languages, for example the Adela, Idelas. So we start with uh, arbitrary gro global function field and uh, for its place VE we fix a uniform method just for convenience. Then this is the notation which I'm going to use. So we will work both with also with the divisor group okay. of the function field but I will write divisor group multiplicatively. In, in <coughs> more in line with the classical number theory. So, okay. So again, uh, let ri we consider ring analog of integers with a fixed place at infinity, and uh, the function is regular away from in infinities, and uh, all the other places, the primes are called finite places, and. Uh, <coughs> Uh, divisors, we take the finite divisors, that divisors supported at, at finite places, and uh, this is identified with a gra group of fractional ideals of A, and, uh, and uh, also the effective divisor or positive divisors identified with a set of integral ideals of A. Okay? And we have also finite other rings and uh, finite ideal groups. Yeah. In order to work exchangeably with the, both the uh, divisors and uh, the ideals. So uh, we identify them and also put them into the <laughs> ideal group. So we, we fix such a section depend, depends on our uh, choice of the uniformizers previously and uh, that's fixed uh, throughout the discussions here. Okay, so <coughs> And that's our basic language for the things. And uh, also we have the GL2 things and we consider the GL2 will take the data points and also the infinite points. In the game we, s we spare the name of dream field of as uh, everyone here knows that it's important to select an infinite place. Okay, and uh, now so we write divisor multiplicative here and we fix uh, with a given effective divisors we fix okay sorry we fix the a compact group okay here in GL2 of Adelis and the compact group is, is chosen according to these divisors in particular at infinity which has exponent 1 we choose the Iwahori subgroups Okay, so uh, a dream field type automorphic forms uh, for simplicity of level n is just a complex value function on such a double coset space. That is a GL2 of Adelis. Here is a discrete of a group GL2k, and here is a compact ones. Okay, with the center of the, at the infinite place. And uh, <coughs> such functions we call the automorphic form. Dream field type is satisfied what a harmonic property. Sometimes such functions are also called harmonic co-chains. Okay, and uh, the, the point here is that these forms can be viewed as analog of classical with two modular forms. And uh, <coughs> this uh, actually we learn uh, this real point from Professor Gekeler's works. And uh, in recent years we continue to push these lines. Okay. Okay, so the harmonic properties as uh, two property here is 
first you have this uh, for every G in GL2A you have this property and also summation over, over all, all the representative cosets uh, at, the, at the infinite pace. These are the, at the in conditions on infinity, infinity. At the infinite pace, okay, this, you have this averaging equal to zero. It's a mean value property, you may say that. And that, that okay, sorry. Okay. Now, uh, for these functions, on the double coset space, we will also describe it in terms of its of the Fourier coefficients. These functions are not really complicated functions. You view this as an uh, analog of of have plan, and uh, however, <coughs> to to get information, extract arithmetic information, is more convenient to consider a Fourier expansion, <coughs> just as like the classical situation. So <coughs> to <coughs> Describe the Fourier coefficients. We fix, of course, fix the additive character here, non-trivial additive character of the additive of the other ring, and uh, this, uh, the product as uh, local at local group field. Now, the uh, with the choice of such a non-trivial additive character, we can fix an associated divisor, which is, the, is in the canonical divisor class which is defined by the condition of the kernel of the uh, of the adjective character at its place okay so this is just okay now the Fourier coefficient as is, is given with respect to the adjective char characters by the, the this inter integral representation with a standard harm measure and the, <coughs> the, the canonical divisor associated. We we map this uh, divisor into the idealis by this S mapping recall. That's just our notation. And this, <coughs> so this is a se sequence of um, numbers indexed by the divisors, but really by positive divisors. Okay. And the constant Fourier coefficient is given by this one. And so this family of numbers indexed by the divisors is, is, is what we call the Fourier coefficient as first say in, in Wales classical notes. And uh, for each divisor multiplicatively we have of course these norms as which is this is a standard notation to measure the size of this divisor. Then as there are properties of these Fourier coefficients for those uh, automatic forms. J let me recall briefly the ha harmonicity of the dream file type gives you that the infinite part <coughs> the divisor really determined by the finite part. You write the divisor as a finite part and the infinite part and also the constant coefficient. Then the, the Fourier co coefficients of the, mm, the for this constant constant Fourier coefficients are also determined actually by the divisor class or the ideal class is, uh, of the, mm, the, the divisors. Okay, and uh, we also need uh, action of the idealis, finite idealis on the on the Fourier on the functions and the fun this is just defined by this this multiplication F the left multiplication by the, the diagonal okay <coughs> and, uh, and uh, with this notation then the the whole uh, dream fat type automorphic form is determined by the Fourier coefficients determined in the sense that it's not just by, by f star m or f star zero m but also by the <coughs> by the action, by the idealis. The action are chosen from representatives of the ideal class group of A that's the you know, Picard group of A. Okay? So in, in other words the, <coughs> the function f is determined by the Fourier coefficients of not just f alone but also the, this AF X on F. Okay? So this countable family of Fourier coefficient completely determines the uh, uh, Dreamfeld type automorphic form. And, 
and this description is more, in a sense, more explicit or more connected with arithmetic. That's uh, our point. Okay, so let's see. Now uh, we can, of course, can take the vector space, complex vector space of all ring type, field type, automorphic form, then defend, um, as usual, hack operators on this space. Okay, with with uh, th this, it means that if the place the v divided the n, the level n at uh, n t infinity n, <coughs> we we put it. The, uh, we have to have these two terms, otherwise it, it, this vanishes. And uh, the harmonicity property just says that uh, the, uh, these string field type forms are actually <coughs> invariant under the t infinity forms. Okay, so it's a kind of regularity conditions uh, at infinity, just like the classical ham, ham, uh, holomorphic conditions. Now <coughs> the hack operators for the composite divisors is, is defined in the following way here. <coughs> mu is the function here and uh, SV is, is uh, we will V, the place V as uh, pi V in the <coughs> idealis. Okay? In the, so this is the whole definition for the uh, hack operators. Now, Okay, so a dream file type automorphic form level n called cost form. If you have these cospitality conditions, and this condition in for this case is equivalent to that uh, this function vanishes at almost all double cosets. So it really has non-vanishing values at only finitely many uh, double cosets. Okay, uh, we, uh, we need of course also consider in. In this vector space, also uh, natural inner product, the Peterson inner product, with the analog of the classical uh, Peterson product for modular forms, and <coughs> and this is defined by by the following, but which actually reduced to such a sum, where the measure here is chosen in di this way, and uh, in different papers there may be different normalizations. Here we may put this this factor here. You see the whole work here. What I'm going to speak today is that the purpose is for general A, general function field. So we have to make some adjustment for the general function field case. So the pica the the ring up functions regular away from infinity no longer uh, class number one. Okay, so the class number will appear from time to time. Okay, so therefore, <coughs> in order to normalize the various formulas later on, so we, we, we fix um, the, the <coughs> Peterson in the product in the following way. Okay, just up to a scalar is if you consider different papers. Okay, now uh, as in the classical case, a uh, dream field type cusp forms called old form, if the linear combination of <coughs> this with cusp form level dividing, dividing the and level n n prime and uh, <coughs> and n prime not equal to n, just uh, coming from lower levels. And the dream type called new form is if orthogonal with the pattern product to the old forms and uh, which uh, <coughs> okay, these are all standards in in in, in this area uh, in this field. This okay. Now <coughs> we are we are interested in. Given a square-free divisor in, t in today's talk, I will concentrate on this, and um, consider a space of dream field type cusp form of level and zero for the square-free. Then we are decompose into a direct sum with respect to the Peterson inner products, <coughs> and as uh, S zero one and zero is uh, is a space of all forms of the type, okay, of this type, uh, dream type cusp level one, level one. And uh, <coughs> coming from dream type, dream type, type uh, cusp form level one, and uh, S one, this is Osano complement. Okay, we just dis decompose the finite-dimensional vector space into just orthogonal 
direct some decomposition. So when my aim here is to treat an analog of Eichler's basis problem. So, so we view the Dreamfeld type the cusp form is uh, very closely uh, to the classical um, uh, new forms or cut forms for modular form with two modular forms. So in number series, as well known to everyone here, that the, the modular forms in a classical case has been used uh, and uh, wide applications has related influence many many part of mathematics. But here in the function field case, we want to to dig the the properties and the use the applications of the Dreamfeld type cut forms. Okay. So, so uh, we need explicit or more detailed information on the space of the um, Dreamfeld type cusp forms, as much as possible detailed explicit information. So, as I call a basic basic problem is that you want to construct those forms explicitly. Okay. So, so the point here is that one can construct this space, okay, by theta series. Exactly. Okay. Now, <coughs> for example, if if this case, rational function field case, that's the simplest case here, and the uh, infinite is usual infinity, the this space uh, can be shown to be trivial. Yes. For example, if I consider a uh, genus of Dreamfeld field modular curves uh, um, using Geekler's formula, etc., you can see various ways. You can see that this is. This is trivial for the for the uh, rational function field case. Hence, uh, every cusp Dreamfeld type cusp form of level n zero for the rational function field case come from the theta series. This actually was treated by uh, a previous paper of us. Okay. Now, t what I want to say today is how to extend these results to the to general A general function field for later use. Okay, and then now so let's uh, theta series. Let's start with quadratic forms. Okay, um, and um, definitely quaternion algebras. Uh, the okay, so we start with a quaternion algebra. De uh, definite means of definite with respect to infinity. Okay, uh, the tensor infinity is. Well, let me see. Okay, so let me see. Okay. Let's see, okay, how I use? Yeah, it is the is the division, okay, and uh, the places with product finite places is a minus is a ramified place, okay. Uh, and given a positive positive divisor and a prime to this a minus, we are interested in Eichler order, okay, uh, a order. A order means uh, a finite A module rank four inside of the div division algebra of type n plus n minus. So if it satisfies the following conditions, uh, given by local conditions at various places, so it, A order is tensor V is maximal O V order for its V not dividing n plus. Okay, and uh, when V divide n plus, there is the isomorphism with with the, the matrix ring given by the following thing, and this is the the the, the, the n plus is the divisor effective divisor here. So this is the condition on the <coughs> on the entries of the matrix coefficients. This is just like the classical situations, and given a type, this called n plus n minus n minus from the division algebra n plus is the the, the other extra part. Okay, and then this is unique up to local conjugacy. Okay, so a type and a Eichler order. Okay, then so we then we start to consider quadratic forms. Okay, okay. Now uh, locally free right ideal of such an Eichler order take a lattice. Okay, and. Uh, which is locally principal for finite uh, for finite places, okay? And the, the locally free two locally free ideals equivalent if they by uh, on the left equivalent. So this is a standard definition for quaternion algebra, the non-commutative arithmetic of quaternion algebras. Now we we put the finite Adele 
idealization of the dividing algebra and uh, also the <coughs> take the r hat to be r times the and the compact of, of the mm. compact ring of the finite r dialects. So a set of locally free right ideal classes ideal classes identified again here with the double cosets. The <coughs> The finite e dialects for the uh, for the dividing algebra, uh, okay. With uh, on the left the the the, the, dis the discrete part and on the left the compact part. So the the representatives of the double cosets uh, uh, in one-to-one -one natural correspondence with the set of uh, locally free right ideal classes of R. Now, for its ideal, such ideal, uh, ideal right, uh, right ideal, since it's a uh, right ideal, then they consider left order, uh, left order <coughs> denoted by R i and uh, the units here is definite, so this unit group is finite, and these unit groups we normalize it by by this this number <coughs> divided by q minus one <coughs> and <coughs> Actually, this is the mm, more or less the theory of Eichler, just put in the context. A finishing field here, and uh, so these are the life, uh, uh, right ideal classes in the for the uh, Eichler order R. Okay. Now we consider Brown matrices. Okay. So to its uh, <laughs> Uh, ideal class I I we take the reduced norm mean reduce norm to the <coughs> to reduce norm to the K to the finishing field K and <coughs> from the dividing algebra this is a uh, ideal in K generated by the by those norms okay and uh, they, so this is a, a fractional ideal of, of A and uh, so this Nij is fra again a fractional ideal of A, and for its Ij less than n, n is the uh, class number for the right order, uh, for the Eichler order R. So we have this Nij. Okay. Now for its now for its m uh, affective divisor, we define the bound matrices uh, as classical case and also in function field case uh, for has been defined before by in papers by Gekeler and uh, Schweizer and things. But here, here we treat the case. Uh, so for the bound matrices, we take this this one to be the uh, fractional ideal correspond to the divisor and the, the equality. We count the finite number of the <coughs> elements in in this in this ideal in. in and divide by no, it is a normalization by the number of units for the left order. Okay, and this this number is depend only on the ideal class of I, 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 J, and M. Okay, this is ideal right ideal in in dividing algebra, and this is the uh, fractional ideal in K. Okay, now <coughs> for its uh, for its uh, finite divisor, uh, we also introduce a permutation matrices. Okay, this is because <coughs> the uh, we we take the uh, matrices L I G H with either one or zero. If M A M A is A viewed as um, I, uh, the divisor A viewed as an ideal, the ideal times I is equivalent to I G. Okay. <coughs> Them. So, in the case, in the case, this is for example, the rational function field, the the class number of A is just one, then this is just the standard identity matrices. But for the general A, this is this becomes more important. So we have a permutation matrix here, okay, St coming from the structure of A. The now. So these are the property of bound matrices. Just uh, some of the, like the classical usually seen here, and uh, yeah. So the, for example, we take the prime divisors with two powers, then you have these, these conditions. Mm -hmm.
here you have the the, uh, the uh, yeah you have this this you have to com the permutation matrix play a role here okay and the permutation of course also d depend only on the ideal classes in A okay now <coughs> for the as in the if they are relative prime then this is multiplicative <laughs> and also you sum over a, a, a row you have this BM and have this property and which is completely <coughs> written down here for the bound matrices for general A here okay and for containing definitely containing algebra for general A here now uh, th these properties are not difficult to verify but you have to check it step by step. Now, also there is a permutation. You see we, we s it's right idea, uh, an ideal we take the inverse become the left ideal and then take a conju conjugation. The conjugation is canonical involution of the division algebra. So you again get uh, another, another left ideal and uh, so you have this uh, um, permutation from the right, right ideal to right ideal and uh, <coughs> And uh, this is clearly an involution. And uh, if you consider the the for each the entries are bound matrices, you will have this B I J M W J sigma J sigma I. Okay, here here sigma plays a role here. This the, the, this this permutation. Okay, and uh, <coughs> so. Now the, our, our main claim here is that n is the class number for the quaternion algebra and there exists string field type automorphism theta ij per parameterized by this ij and <coughs> oh, the, the n is the level of the actual uh, order given the actual order and uh, uh, this theta ij, uh, the Fourier coefficients is essentially the entry of bound matrices. Okay, here. That's the, in other words, uh, given idea, we can uh, the construct explicitly the dream field type automorphism with Fourier coefficients given by the bound matrices, as is well known in classically over Q case, in accurate theory, etc. But here we, we claim to have this, for, this uh, formula for the for the general A and general function field, and uh, essentially Fourier coefficient is more precise here. You divide by the norm of the the divisor here. Okay, yeah. and uh, here of course the, the, the situation for the constant coefficient, uh, uh, the the ideal corresponding M and N I J inverse are two fractional ideals because A is not class number one, so it may be zero, it may be not, not in the same ideal class. You have to be a little bit careful here also. Yeah, so now this is uh, our claim. So to, to prove, the, uh, to construct these things, uh, we first think this, this kind of construction for the imaginary quadratic function field in, in Luke Tip's pa papers. Um, Constructions, but, but and then later on we, we for the rational function field case the imaginary quadratic extension of rational function field k, okay. then we we, we do, did it in for the rational function field case for the quaternion algebra case, but of course we then we want to proceed further to for general k and general a, <coughs> so arbitrary function field so it becomes more involved to and then. It's not convenient to to write down things in in the directly from the like Rick Tip way of doing. So we adopt um, took trouble to adopt the Wales method. Okay, it's uh, uh, people knew of course that you can use Wales uh, Wales method to 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 treat this problem, but <coughs> but the. Uh, but the point here is, is uh, uh, it's a large exercise, tedious exercise. You have to, to write down the, the things in, in detail to have the con construction. And uh, so the uh, Wills method in uh, following his ACTA paper in the 60s, you have to choose the, like the Tate thesis to play the Tate games in this situation. You have to choose test function Schwartz uh, space and um, the right 
test functions and then later on showing that uh, you, the result you get is actually a dream field type automorphic form with the desired for, ex for equality of those Fourier coefficients. Okay. So that's so <coughs> we start with the Wales method, so the Wales representation. So we take the quadratic space, which is uh, divisible out by dimension 4 over the local field with the <coughs> quadratic form coming from norm, of course. And uh, uh, for its place V, we have this, you have Schwarz, we consider sh the Schwarz functions of the, the four dimension space multiplied by KV plus. Uh, the cross, the, yeah, this we follow Galbart's treatment, and then, <coughs> then uh, in order to choose the right uh, uh, sh test functions, we we, we fix uh, element, uh, fix so to speak a uniformizer for the for the multiplicative group of the algebra, and um, so that uh, the pi v square, this is big pi is, is a small pi v uniformizer. And so, to its eye-color A order R, we want to consider those theta i j. So we, we fix a particular functions in in a space, given by the following formula. This is a characteristic function. R v is the lo, uh, uh, R times the k v, the local the algebra. Uh, but here we choose the, this this compact submarine and this this is uh, for at infinity this is compactor. Delta is the the uh, can a canonical divisor we fix uh, with the choice of the additive character, non trivial additive character. So with those choices we we, we, we then take this as our <coughs> particular test function in the space of the locally constant with compact support function on this Adela space. Then, okay, uh, then we take the restrict tensor product on the, because we want a global situation, and uh, so when you take the re restrict tensor product, you have to fix a f uh, for its place V uh, function, standard function, so here we take this character function to be this phi V t tensor 1 over the characteristic function of OV cross inside here. So th here we choose this phi V and here we choose just the, the standard unit group characteristic functions. So this is a choice of the uh, test functions. Then the real representation is first with the SL2 KV locally and then you expand to the SL2 uh, to the uh, Schwarz functions on <coughs> of GL2 KV. This is a local wave representation with a, this is a standard way of uh, taking the taking the ex extension. This um, V is from the additive character. So then, and here of course you have the Fourier Fourier transforms because here you have the minus one one. This this involved and then you have to to have this this is the Fourier transform is coded in the <coughs> construction of veil representations okay so this is the uh, veil representation for GL2 over local field okay now here the epsilon V is, uh, the is plus minus this is dep depend on whether the place is ramified or not, and uh, the Haar measure here, uh, because we have to take the Fourier transform, so here this is, uh, f f this space is, is XV RV, RV is, is another element in, in, in uh, invertible element, non-zero element locally, so, we, the, so this Haar measure has to be chosen to be the hard measure self deal with respect to the additive character modified by RV. Okay, so this is a way of treating. Now then you have to, to have chosen these local wheel representations, then you, t you just t take the products, you get the global wheel representation of GL2A on the, <coughs> on the space of Schwartz functions. Okay. Okay. Now, next step is that uh, 
we we, we to to put uh, the uh, having the the real representations. So we want to construct uh, the theta series. So we start with uh, uh, with the representatives of right ideal classes. Okay. Now for its uh, representative, we have the reduced norm. Here we put it into E Dallas, so take the S map, map this um, uh, fractional ideal into E Dallas, and uh, this is the functions we 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 chose phi tilde i j for its i j less than n. Okay, so we take uh, phi tilde i j is phi i j f. Uh, this is a finite part and this infinite part. Okay, the on the finite part we choose the. To the uh, yeah we 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 choose the we choose we choose this uh, this this uh, characteristic function of r hat on the finite uh, Dallas uh, kind of b i b j inverse x f this is the characteristic function and also this is the character function of r f and the beta i j is is coming from the Representative of in coming from the ideal classes, okay. The delta f put into E delta, so put an s here, and then at infinity, we take the 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 uh, character function of O infinity with, but with the uh, with the reduced norm. Uh, everything here is on, on infinity, and uh, t multiply by again by this ones. Okay, so this is the, uh, the then the theta si series is defined as you see you, you take this these test functions and uh, <coughs> your summation over this v k times k cross is a discrete subgroup of the g v a times uh, a cross. Okay, so it's summation over these discrete groups. Of the values of these functions, but not just uh, one function. So for each g of g l two a, you have the, this uh, value representation x on the x on the uh, phi i j tilde, and then take the value. This is this is discrete inside the inside this ones, and so and this is a kind of compact support. So you have the finite sum. So this is the Theta series. This is uh, the construction which uh, Andre Weil introduced. Yeah. So we just fix such uh, choices of the functions. Now, okay. Okay. So let's see. Let me see. Okay. What's happening? Okay. Wait. Well, it didn't work. What's happened? Okay. Well, I don't see. Well, it's, it won't work now. Okay, so let me see. Uh huh. Okay, let's see what happened. <coughs> oh, what happened? What? Okay, let's see. Let me see. Okay, so let me see what happened. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. It won't work <coughs> also. Control. Control and to delete it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Well, restart. You have to. Yeah. 
리프팅 Ah, okay. So let's restart it, maybe. No problem. Sometimes the uh, computer is broken. So. Okay, no problem. Yeah, let's see how it works. Sorry for the. Okay, so that's. Okay. So this is a defined theta series on, on GL2A, and then we want automorphic form. So we put uh, show that it induces functions actually on the double coset space. So the the. Claims that these are actually you can verify the harm, harmonicity, so they are actually Dreamfield type automorphic <coughs> form of level n n plus multiply n minus. So okay, so uh, this is a small theta ig, and we s slightly <coughs> normalize it to be this one. Uh, delta is from the uh, canonical divisor from the additive. Character and WJ is the units in left order, and this is small theta IJ. Beta IJ is, is from the uh, previous this with the selection of the representatives. Yeah. Okay. So this is the theta IJ things. Now <coughs> this by definition, this are actually <coughs> Q-valued dream field type automorphic form of level n, uh, and uh, they are naturally. You can check that it's it's stable under the hack <coughs> space of hack operators. So it's a hack L module under the hack operators. Okay. Okay. Now, now uh, this is the is the uh, one side of the picture. Now I want to give another more geometric side of the picture, which is uh, okay. So uh, this was imp uh, imp inspired by Dick Gross work. So we consider the the uh, um, genus zero curve associated with quaternion algebra. With trace zero, norm zero is is uh, the quadratic curve. Okay, and <coughs> with the action by S plus, this defines uh, this defines. Uh, uh, a curve and uh, the given the Eichel order, the definite Shimura curve is by definition this one. Okay, this, this curve with the action, this space, but uh, to see it more precisely, take the uh, representative, previous representative for the, for the right ideal classes. And <coughs> you can decompose the x here as the 
disjoint union, finitely many disjoint unions, and its xi is, is just the the y the orbits of y and the gamma i, and the the uh, let me see. See, yeah, the okay, okay, okay. The, that, the gamma i is here. The, the, this is the group, and <coughs> so its representative has uh, its point of x has a representative, and the map given the bijections by x. This is the, uh, the <coughs> canonical map. So the component of x i is, uh, is corresponding to ideal class. I, I. So the right ideal class you have is right. You have a component. So this is a genus curve. So it's just uh, uh, the class number n. So it's n, n p one indexed by the by the ideal classes. Okay. So this is the now all these p x i are genus zero, right? So we write a Picard group of the x i as just the Z i corresponds to the component X i, hence corresponds to a right ideal class, and this is a Picard group, and we d d define a height pairing on the Picard group by the following formula. So E i e j orthogonal and E i e j when they are not uh, not uh, i equal to uh, E i e i, so the number is not one, but uh, with the units of the left order. So this is a uh, so the normalization of this pairing on this uh, actually uh, simple, uh, not complicated uh, Z module. Now, <coughs> now for its um, for its, for the, on the pick, pick X, okay, this we want to consider again correspondent hacker correspondence of this we call the definite Shimura curve. Okay, this and um, for its finite place, we embed GLKV to GL2KV into the E delta. Okay, V is V zero is is prime to the V zero is unramified into into GL2KV embedded into the local the finite E delta of the dividing algebra. The Hecker correspondence is defined as follows by these formulas. Okay, so uh, yeah, so this formula is uh, here. We put pi v zero is the uniformizer, and the r hat cross is the multiplicative group of the the finite idealization of this r, the equal order. And again, this mu is the same as before. It's one or zero, and this is the Heck correspondence T V no we we denote by small t okay and <coughs> now for its V zero divide and minus there is a analog of acting Lander involution on pick X given by the following formula so the took the took the um, this one to the coordinates just to the conju conjugation a conjugation is inside the division algebra dividing and minus means the mean dv0 is uh, is the division algebra okay so you have this uh, canonical uh, involution here okay. so this is the acting lander involution on the on peak x the so this is uh, again also for the uh, any f uh, divisor finite divisors we we define the correspondence another correspondence on pick x by the following formula uh, put a into the finite e dallas you have this action and uh, so the, the this this permutation on the pick x is uh, again depends only on the ideal class of the a a, a prime and uh, define the hacker correspondence on the for the for again the uh, finite effect effective divisor in the following way relative prime and um, if we divide uh, not divide a minus <coughs> put it in the following uh, situation and LV is, is the is this one yeah yes first the uh, this is the prime power of the uh, 
hack correspondence. And then here we, you, we have this, this situation for V divide and minus you have this uh, arcing liner things. Okay, let's see, let me put here. Yeah, the arcing liner things here. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, the hacker correspondence on the what we call the, the definite Shimura curves. Okay. So the peak X becomes uh, um, again a uh, uh, module under the hacker uh, under this correspondence and under this hacker al hacker algebra module. Okay. Now this is related to the Brown matrix again. Uh, Actually, this is uh, just a reinterpretation of the Brown matrices. Recall the Brown matrix coming from the uh, ideal cases I, 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 J inverse. Okay? So for its basis, the basis corresponds to the right ideals. You have the uh, Brown matrices, we have Brown matrices, and the TMEIJ, uh, the EI is. Pre express precisely through the uh, bound matrices and LA is the LIGA. So you see the, 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 the formula for the uh, hacker action is the okay well okay well okay okay well let's see okay what is what is it yeah okay it's it's a it's a it's the same as in the on the side of the dream um, type cast forms automorphic forms okay we also define uh, the wv for the communings wv to be a, this one from the arcing liner for local v and, the, and you have this formula for the wvl X on EI given by the again the dream field, the, the brown matrix is a VL. Okay, so this is the formula needed. Okay, okay. Well, something happened again. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, let's see. Well, let's see. Okay, 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 okay. Now, <coughs> on the on the deal of the this on the deal of this the, this uh, Picard group, so we we put the this structure, and uh, you have uh, previous introduced a sigma permutation on right ideal case. We have this formula, and uh, you can show that the gross pairing the the adjoins with respect to the gross pairing. Okay, the all the <coughs> the hacker operators here are joined with respect to the to, to the gross pairings. So, okay, no. so okay, so the so the hacker modules here defined defined by these things. So I'm running out of times. So then the, the main theorem is that the z bilinear map from the peak x to peak x to the to the field type. Automorphic forms uh, with rational coefficients, and uh, given by for its e e prime, given uh, satisfy this property. So this <coughs> this, this this is uh, uh, hacker compatible with the hacker actions, and uh, so induce uh, TQ modules. So between the, the, the tensor products here, this is bilinear, so you have this map into into the into the dream field type uh, uh, and the, this homomorphism, this key homomorphism is given by the the theorem, uh, this in the theorem is given just by EIEJ, this corresponds to ideal uh, right ideal class EIEJ prime is the theta IJ so <coughs> we have this, in other words, the image is precisely those uh, dream field type forms generated by theta series. Now, 
So um, it's, mm, we usually take these two very prime, then take the tensor part with Xi, complex version space, and uh, you will have the. Uh, so I will be brief since I think I'm running out of time. Let me come to the. Okay, the, uh, here you, you see the, the second approach on the peak X. Uh, the double coset space of the of the coming from the quaternion algebra is just the uh, in some uh, classical theory called the quaternionic automorphic forms. So the quaternionic automorphic forms and the GL2 automorphic form, the correspondence among them is uh, nothing but the Jackie Langland correspondence. So, so. What we have worked out here is just a, a more refined explicit version of the Jacques Langland correspondence in for this function field setting. And uh, okay, so, so the, we denote by JL as motion from the peaks to the, uh, the new forms, new forms with okay, and uh, okay. So the, the new forms, and uh, this is uh, this is a hacker module map from from the uh, this this uh, from the, the this this represents the so to speak the quaternionic modular forms, and these are the uh, on the other side are the uh, these are the Dreamfeld type forms. Okay, the past. and for its uh, divi division algebra, definite division algebra with choice of the molecular um, order type, then we have such a natural map, an explicit map. And this has certain applications in further application in the function field arithmetic. Okay, now uh, just w one more remark that, that there are, you see, the, the, those which do not come from. The the theta series, for example, if you consider the cusp form from the level one, it may happen here. Okay, from in the for the rational function field case, it's you don't this space is is trivial, so you don't have those things. But in general, it may be. Okay, so you want to suppose you want to ex, 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 give a, give such a non-zero element. Uh, you have to go back. For example, the only way we know is to go back to the the uh, you may call it the Dreamfeld modularity by Veil, the Ling, Zahing, uh, Dreamfeld, those uh, work and which which was treated in detail in Gekiller Reversat papers. Dreamfeld modularity. So you all you need is to find a Dreamfeld um, ellipse curve. Okay, e over k. The e over, over k, okay, uh, which has good reduction elsewhere except multiplication return at infinity. These things, okay. Then you want the, the, our concern didn't give such 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 automorphic dream type automorphic forms. Then um, the uh, one way to to get this. Is is what we learn from Papi King here that is th this is an example. Yeah, you can you can get this for general function field. You can do it. You start still with the rational function field, but you take a, you know, with this arithmetic, you get a suitable extension, and then you consider the curve over the extension field. It will give the one example, but of the of the uh, and then the corresponding by modularity the corresponding. A Dreamfeld type form is 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 not coming from theta series. So I send my talk. Thank you.